Hello everybody and welcome back to the House of Storm and welcome back to another episode of WWE Day of Reckoning Story Mode. So guys, in the last episode, we became the Intercontinental Champion and Triple H has put a bounty on our head. But in the last video, as you've seen, we became number 29 for the Royal Rumble. And Ric Flair is 30. And hopefully, we can throw his ass out. So, let's continue this story. Um, I was upgrading my attributes before I started the uh, video. Royal Ramifications. And um, it actually said number one contender for... Uh, uh, number one contender for a heavy belt. Hopefully these aren't one and two. I thought he was just tossing them out. So I bet this is just, you know, this is 28, you know, 27, 28, or 29, and then, yeah, I think, because I think this game can only do four people in the ring at once. I did a grill beating the hell out of Cena. Okay, so it started from here, good. Rick Rana by Guerrero. Oh, we're going out. It's been fun. Oh! <laughs> Ow. I'm scared. Ow. This is not going well for us. Ow. Can Ric Flair come in, please? Where the hell is he? Is he gonna use it? Also, I'm gonna do the replay and get me, like, tossing, uh, like, going over really cool. Oh, he got me with it, too. Ow. I think Cena is going to toss me and flare out. Nope. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to kick his ass out. <laughs> Let's see him just whoop his ass for a bit. Well, I don't think so. Well, he reversed it. That would have been cool if we would have kicked Flair in the head, too. Man. 
Man, he is dodging everything. Cena worries me. <laughs> oh, Ric Flair getting his ass whooped. Oh, no. I think we can hit both of them here. Or just one. Right on top of Flare. Oh, he reversed it. Nope, don't matter though, you're still getting it. Got him, got him both. Can I hit right on him? Oh, that would've been so cool. Get out of my ring. Out you go. Oh, I don't think so, sir. Oh, he got me. Oh, I can't lose now. Got him. Oh, shit. Oh, we got so lucky. Oh, I didn't think he would... Game, come on. <laughs> Did he go over? He did! Yeah, what a what a way to win! What a way to win. With our finisher over the top rope. That is awesome. So, a brutal number one, we saw a brutal Royal Rumble match determine the number one contender for a title shot at WrestleMania. Title shot for my belt, my World Heavyweight Championship belt. And I'm sure that you idiots would like to see nothing better than me losing my belt in two months against the guy who won the Royal Rumble just a few minutes ago. Before you get that image ingrained in your pathetic little minds, let me remind you of something. I am Triple H, the very best there is. I am the greatest professional wrestler in the world today. I defended this belt night after night. After night, every week, every month, every year. And that's why I'm the very best there is. Before you even think about this belt around the waist of anyone else, especially the insignificant jobber that who won the Rumble, remember this, for as dangerous and formidable a force I've been in my life in the WWE, I now intend to focus all the energy into one sole purpose, and that is single-handedly putting Storm out of wrestling. Let's face it, I brought him into this business, I gave him the privilege, the honor of joining forces with Evolution, in other words, I made Storm in everything he is today. Now, let me correct myself. Not everything. I didn't make him the disappointment he's become. He did that to himself. But now I'm going to give him his place in history, ancient history, when I finish him once and for all. I can think of no better place and time to do it in front of the whole world at WrestleMania.
Man, we're getting a lot of XP. All right, what's our next, next problem? First off, congratulations on winning the Royal Rumble. That's quite an accomplishment for such a new talent here in the WWE. Thanks, it wasn't easy, but then no one said it would be. Gamble knows how separate, how going separate ways with the remnants of evolution seems to have suited you well. Yeah, well, I do a Triple H and Ric Flair some credit for helping me break in, but let's face it, they're really just a bunch of dicks. I mind pushing my weight around when I need to, but for the right reasons, you know? Sure, sure, kid. In any case, not your normal contender for Triple H's World Heavyweight Title Match at Mania. Or you better prepare yourself for some top-level competition starting tonight. So I'm booking you against Kane in a one-on-one -on -one match. I think we have a we have no way out. I think it's the pay-per-view before Mania in this timeline. All right, taking on Kane. No special conditions. Starting out strong with a big kick. Another one. Another one. Nope. He is dodging everything. Nope. I mean, look at his, uh, he has so much already because of all the reversals. Oh. Nope. So do we, though. Oh, I was going for a clothesline. Another kick. Here we go. Getting Kane to the top and a big belly to belly. <laughs> and flipping storm over. Oh, we hit each other. Flipping storm over again. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the, uh... Oh, he's going to toss this out. Rope break. Thank you, sir. Man, he is dodging everything. Kane, you were going to take this. Thank you. He reversed it again. Uh-uh. You know, I'll take this. Big rope break. Still a big rope break. Still a big rope break. Oh, he reversed it. No. What is that reversal? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get up, Storm. Get up, Storm. Ah, shit.
Our character gets up so damn slow. Oh, that's a rope break. That is a rope break! Ah, damn it. Kane, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm so angry. I am so mad right now. Get your ass over here. Oh. Nope. You've done pissed me off. Get your ass back in that corner. No, we're done. We're done with these damn games. Sit your ass back down. Okay, I see you. No, we're done. You had your fun. It's over now. No. Sit your ass back down. Uh-uh. Like I said, we're done. Get in this chokehold. Don't piss me off now. Get up. Get your ass up. He done made me mad. Uh-uh. We're done. Like I said, we are done. Don't worry, I'm not done with you. One, two. You don't want to be done yet? Good, I still want to whoop your ass. Come here. We're long from done. Come here. See, that's enough. One, two. No, you're not done yet? Don't go beating the ref's ass, because you can't take this beating. Oh, if he gets a choke slam and beats me, I'll be so mad. See if that's enough. One, two, three. Come here. Don't piss me the hell off. I'm happy we whooped his ass like that. I have a feeling Triple H is about to be very, very, very hard. Y2J. Okay, so we're just like getting into high profile matches. You know, I've been in this business for a long time. And I'm getting a little tired of seeing the favoritism some guys get around here just because they're the hot new thing. It used to be that way. You had to earn your shots if you wanted to make it to the top. And that's something I've done time and time again. Well, we actually won the Rumble, so we did earn it. Yeah, what do I see now? I see a new guy getting the Intercontinental title shot. Then I see that same guy handed the 29th spot on the Rumble, at the Rumble on a silver platter. Now he's set up to be the number one contender for a world title shot at WrestleMania. A contender for a title that I used to hold. The thing is, he's never proven a, th a thing to me. He's never ever faced me one-on-one -on -one in this ring. 
So Storm, yes, I'm talking to you. I think it's about time you proved to me and the world you are worthy. I don't care you chose Evolution when you first joined the WWE, and I don't care that you're the GM's new ass clown. I'm going to show you a world where you're a spoiled brat with a silver spoon up your ass. I should be the number one contender. I'm calling you out. Get your ass out and face me right now, Junior. He is pissed. Here we go. This game's getting tough. I gotta get these reversals down, because that's gonna be the deciding factor. There we go. Some good start. Ooh, is a curry from Jericho. Storm. Oh, he ran right into that. Oh, that one hurt. A half Boston Crab. What do you mean rope? The rope is right there! Ref! Jesus! Hand is on the damn rope. I should beat your ass for that. Come here, actually. Yeah, seen that coming. Break. Yeah, see, now you want to call it. You got your ass whipped last time you didn't. We got him in the headlock for a minute. Okay, our, our special goes up a little bit quicker now. And slamming Jericho down into another triangle choke. Yeah, his submission is better than mine. Falls right into the pile driver. So he's going to get his finisher soon, which worries me. Nope. I will run out of this rain like a little bitch. I am not getting in the walls of Jericho. Nope. Nope. How's it feel to waste your finisher? Ah, oh, shit. I think we got it. Oh, we did. See, that's enough. One, two, three. Thank God. Come here, Jericho. You ref, get over here. I got so mad in our first attempt. I'm still angry. Ref Flair, get your bitch ass out of here. Got no time for your shit. Here we go. God. 
Our poor balls. You may have gotten lucky winning the Rumble two weeks ago, but now that you're the number one contender. You got a bigger target on your back than ever. You think you're going to waltz right into WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all? And have a chance against the World Heavyweight Champion Triple H? Well, think again. To be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, the man is Triple H. And after WrestleMania, that man will still be Triple H. Might as well hand him up, because when you go one-on-one -on -one against the Cerebral Assassin, you have no chance to win. <laughs> I know he's saying woo, but it looks so creepy. Alright, let's level up a bit, because I need it, apparently. Oh. Nine point five, and let's get that. Yeah, Cause I'm gonna need that. Oh, we're still the Intercontinental Champion, which I think is cool. Similar aspirations. Look, Storm, you and I have a one-on-one -on -one match tonight. I want you to know I'm not going to make it easy on you. If I take you down, I could be next in line for a title shot after WrestleMania. I expect nothing less from a guy like you, Shawn Michaels. I'm sure you didn't make a name for yourself in the WWE by half-assing it. It's honor to be facing off with you tonight, but I expect to g you to give me your worst. Look, I got no problem with you personally. This is just business. You and I are after the same thing. That's all. I think we respect each other here, but when we get in that ring, you and I both know all bets are off. Oh my god! Oh. I mean, Ric Flair would have had no chance against Shawn Michaels, but Triple H whooped our ass. That was cool. There was a sign that said Storm. Don't know if that's for Lance Storm or not, but I'll take it. So we're probably going to take them on like a... Like a tag team match at... Uh, what's it called? A New Year's Resolution or whatever the one is. No Way Out. Oh, oh. Oh, that would have been cool if we could have hit that. And slamming Michaels to the floor. What's going better than the in the uh Jericho one, that's for sure. Oh, he beat me to it. I thought I got it. Storm Lane a beating right now. Let's see if we can get that stomp again. And go for that leg drop. Oh, he reversed it. Storm just right back in control already, and another stomp. Gotta be careful of that momentum shift.
Got him. I think it might be a rope break, though. Depending on how he lays. Break. Ah, you piece of shit, ref. One, two, three. Oh, we win anyways. But come here, ref, because you, you've been my main enemy this entire playthrough. He really has. Okay, Ric Flair ain't taking out both of us. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> no. Super unrealistic. <laughs> Since one of my responsibilities around here is to maintain order, it seems I need to address a little issue my concerns have with you three gentlemen. Seems like all three of you have the same aspirations in mind, and that's a problem. See, Storm has earned this title shot fair and square when he won the Royal Rumble. In fact, the only way that he could possibly lose his opportunity to face Triple H at WrestleMania would be if he were injured and unable to perform. So keeping that in mind, and keeping in mind another significant part of my duties as GM is to ensure that we keep our fans entertained. Here's what I have in mind. See a match. See you next, next week. Storm versus Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels versus the World Heavyweight Champion Triple H in a fatal four-way. Now, don't worry, Storm. Clearly, we must play by the rules. So regardless of who wins, you will not lose your title shot. But as to what shape you will show up at WrestleMania, that will be up to you four gentlemen to decide. Hopefully I don't have to win this match, because that's going to be damn near impossible. So this will probably be the pay-per-view. Not just Raw. Playing the wrong game. The reason I called you in here is to discuss tonight's match. I already spoke in the Triple H separately. Because I figure at this point there's no way to have the undivided attention if both of you guys are in the same room. Now that you and Triple H don't have much to gain status-wise from this Fatal 4-Way... So my wisdom, I'm going to sweeten the pot for you. Really, how's that? It better be good. Because I'm risking my neck out there against a couple of guys who want nothing more than to break it before WrestleMania. Let's not forget, you aren't exactly in there alone. In the past few weeks, or any indication, you seem to having Shawn Michaels in the ring as well should balance things out, don't you think? Yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of counting on it. Good, in any case, see if this doesn't give you more incentive. Should the winner tonight be either of the champion Triple H or you the number of contender... The winner of the pillage is sucked in the type of match that you have at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's not only your best interest to win tonight, just as important that you keep Triple H from winning. The lesson you want at WrestleMania is to go against Triple H for the championship in the very match of his choice. Let's think about it, so I suggest you get ready for your match. I mean, I'll probably choose Hell in a Cell or Hardcore if I win, if it gives me the opportunity. Hey, Sean, you wanted to see me? Yeah, sorry, we don't have a lot of time since our match is next, but I wanted to make sure that you send that right message to Ric Flair and Triple H in our Fatal 4-Way. No doubt we're going to beat their hides nine ways this Sunday, but you got a championship match against Triple H at WrestleMania. So you and Flair are going to do everything they can to demoralize you. Take it from me, I've been on both sides of the coin with Triple H. I can guarantee you that their plan is to send you a very serious message tonight during our match. You need to turn the tables on them and deliver your own message before it's too late. To end the match, you should be absolutely sure to deliver your signature finishing move to both Ric Flair and Triple H. Don't do that to me. You do that, you'll show both of them the world whose favorite at WrestleMania is. Make sure you do it before the match ends. And don't worry, if things get tough, HBK and the Sweet Chin Music have your back. Let's go get them. 
No, don't make me have to do my finishing move to both of them, please. I beg you. Please don't let that be a natural thing. Because that's going to be a pain. I can already see the match is about to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I have to. God damn it. Oh, they're going after each other. Shawn Michaels, what are we doing here? I don't think the game, like, the AI would know this old that, you know, not to attack me. A lot going on in this match. Oh no. Oh, that was cool though. No! Shawn Michaels, you piece of shit! Oh, I'm so angry today. Well, I still gotta hit my finisher on Triple H. Shawn Michaels, I will never forget this, just so you know. <laughs> Oh no, no you don't. Oh damn it. Oh thank you, Ric Flair. Oh he still hit it. Someone hit him. Someone hit him, please. Michaels! Can I get some offense in, please? Did you reverse it too? God, me and my nuts. Okay, we still gotta hit Triple H with it. Ric Flair, get the hell out of here. He did not just get this shit off a counter. Thank you.
You will not no. We have a rope break. We're all right. Oh well, I don't know. This is this ref. And he reversed it. Ow. We are very hurt. That was Ric Flair, I don't think that was Triple H. Did we get it? No one hit me, please. We did it. He's gonna switch in music us. We didn't see that coming. All right, Shawn Michaels, I see you. Now it makes sense why you kept going after us. So you never had a chance tonight. You'll never have a chance against me at WrestleMania. Isn't that right, Shawn Michaels? That's right, Triple H. Looks like Storm has been playing the wrong game all along. Sounds like broken. So now that you lie broken in the middle of my reign, I think now is a good choice to announce my choice of match at WrestleMania. So it's going to be... Wait, hold on a second there, Triple H. Before you announce your match, I have an idea for you. I've been thinking. Like all of these idiots in the audience, I'm going to be watching you do what you do best, and that's defend the World Heavyweight title. Hell, you've even done it against me on many occasions, so since I'm going to be a mere observer this time out, I'm going to see you do what you do best. I think he's one of the greatest champions of all time. Go to these people to give them the match that has become your signature over the years. I'm suggesting you make your match an Iron Man match. Hmm, well, let me say this. First of all, I don't owe these people anything. I've given my blood, sweat, and tears over the course of my career just so I can defend this belt as often as I do. I push myself to the limit the night after night because I'm the greatest professional wrestler in the world. I faced them all and I've beaten them all, yourself included. It's not to prove anything these idiots. So now that I've clarified the little point, I admit you're on to something. This punk has had it coming for a long time. So why should I settle for pinning him once, when I can punish him even more? Yeah, I think you're right, Shawn Michaels. I'm going to make our World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania an Iron Man match. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to do anything. Here we go. So will it be a pay-per-view or do we have a match beforehand? Just in case, I am going to boost up our submission to 7, our charisma to 8. And that's how I think we're going to end. Oh, come on. I don't care about payback. Let's just get to the main event of WrestleMania. Storm, tonight you've asked for a hardcore match against Shawn Michaels, the man who betrayed you just one week ago. Your thoughts going into this match? My thoughts, you want to know my thoughts? They should be obvious. My thoughts are that I have some payback for Shawn Michaels. I don't know why he joined up with Triple H, I don't care. 
Tonight I'm going to show him why that was the worst mistake he's made in his life. All right, hopefully, we, well, we have to win. Right on the chair. All that's cool that you broke. Oh no. Ref, just count it. You don't gotta be near us. <laughs> Let's hope we get him through the table. I don't think we'll get him through the table here. Let's go for both. Oh, he reversed it. That was stupid. I should have just went for the pin, and now he's going to do this. Oh, I should have just went for the pin. One, two. Oh, -hoo. Oh, he's going to beat me now. How the hell does he have two finishers? Yeah, no. Oh, he got me. Damn it. All right, come on, do your dumbass move. Yeah, no. I was pressing so quick. Damn it, Shawn Michaels, enough! Out of the rain. Good, the ref's out. Stop no selling my shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you piece of shit. Come here. This has been a va very, very angry series. All right, we got one more match. That should be WrestleMania now. I'm going to use this on my durability to make me 10. And we're actually still the Intercontinental Champion, so we have a chance to become a double champion right now. Please be WrestleMania. Still? Still Raw? Why are we still on Raw? 
Oh, it's in two weeks. Okay. I'll be defending my World Heavyweight title in the Iron Man match. Okay, don't care. Don't care. Okay. Us versus Ric Flair in a one on one match. Watch me lose. Still two more weeks of Raw. I don't know why I yelled about it. I'm just mad. Well, I'm having a lot of fun with this, but I'm also ready to wrap up the story as well. You know, Flair, I've been looking forward to this because you whooped my ass that one time. Uh, when, uh, when we were first joining the WWE in this game. And, like, we couldn't beat him. Come here, Flair. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I meant to do the other springboard. God, you would hit me in the nuts, Flare. Oh, we missed. I love that move. I might miss that because it jumps so far. Another neck breaker by Storm. Probably the most we've ever dominated. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. See, Ric Flair, our overall is probably so much higher than his. So, Storm, we're just two weeks away from WrestleMania now. Of course, you'll be involved in a World Championship Iron Man match against... Ooh. It's my belt, mine. Not you or anyone is going to be able to beat me for it. You so much as show your face at WrestleMania, I swear I'll put you out of this business forever. Probably will. We got one more week now before Mania. We're doing this all in one video. This entire rage-induced finale. Triple H has made this personal. No, you and Triple H are ready to tussle for the belt at any moment. But obviously, it's going to have to wait until WrestleMania next week. Another week, I realize that you want a main event match for WrestleMania, but this is beyond business now. Triple H has made this personal. I don't know if I can wait another week to get my hands on him. Well, that's music to my ears, and it's also your lucky day. I said that you and Triple H would have to wait a week to fight for the belt. I didn't say you'd have to wait a week to fight. Tonight, I'm creating a special Champions and Challengers mixed tag team match. Feature Storm of Victoria, then we're contender for a Women's Championship versus the Women's Champ, Milo Hiley, and special partner Triple H. You can thank me later. Now go out there and have a great match.
Ares and Victoria. Weird match before Mania, but that's all right. There we go. How the hell does he have that much? He's done no offense. My tag button's not working. Flexing Molly Holly. I mean, this probably won't be enough for Triple H, but... One. Yeah, not even a one. Oh, we actually reached him. Well, at least we hit Molly Holly with it. Would have been three. That sucks. It would have been three. Yeah, no. Did he really get the goddamn pedigree? I'll go to hell game. I am mad as shit about that. Yeah, no. Victoria hit him! Victoria hit him! Victoria punch him in the face! He's going to hit me again. Victoria, punch you, please! What the hell are you doing? There we go. That first attempt made me so angry. Get me out of this screen. Let's just get to WrestleMania and get this over with. I am so angry. Victoria was no help through that entire match. No, don't even raise your hand. Go 
Can we get some revenge? There it is, finally. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh! Just laying the smack down on Triple H right now. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, we got the last punch. That all that that's all that matters. Oh, that match was rage inducing. Oh, I forgot to level up. Oh, that's okay. Alright, guys. Grand finale here. Well, here we're at WrestleMania. The granddaddy of them all. You know, when you first signed your contract earlier this year... I had a hunch you'd be a blue chipper with a bright future. But even I, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, could never have guessed that you'd have such a meteoric rise throughout the organization. Not even I could have guessed that you'd reach an almost unpresented level of success so quickly. But you have, and you've met every challenge along the way. So tonight, on the evening of your first WrestleMania, you have my sincere congratulations. Thanks a lot, Vince. That's Mr. McMahon to you. Right, Mr. McMahon. On one last word of advice, you have an opportunity tonight, a very special opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't want to remind you that there is a locker room full of superstars in the back, each of which have worked their entire career to earn the chance you have tonight. So my advice to you, win or lose, make the most of this shot while well, you got it. You're up against one of the greatest superstars in the world today, Triple H. He's going to do everything in his power to destroy you in order to defend his title. Go out there and give them everything you got. Because I guarantee you that if you screw it up, you've got no chance in hell of getting another chance like this anytime soon. And kind of me, Mr. McMahon. I've worked hard to get to this point, and I'm not going to let anyone down, especially myself. And Triple H, well, he had a good title run. But tonight, I'm leaving WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. So it's going to be a 15, a 10, 15, or 20 minute Iron Man match. We just got to get one pin. Well, I'd like to get two, stay up ahead. 15. These two finally get in the ring together. There it is. Try again. There it is. We get our momentum pretty quickly. Slamming Triple H to the mat. The student and the master here. We got the first finisher of the match. Break. 
God, you and evolution are hitting my nuts, I swear. Over the top rope you go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that would have been really cool if we would have hit it. One, two, three. You did damn it! Damn it, this dumbass pedigree. Come on, no sell it. No sell it. Rope break? Not even a one. Oh, I didn't want to give him that. Okay, well, at least we got this. Did he really reverse it again? Okay, he reversed it twice. No way he could reverse it three times, right? One, two, three. All right, we got one. All right, he has three finishers, so that's cool. He's going to use it. Yep. There we go. It's going to taunt. I'm going to make him waste another. There, that's all I needed. Nope. Come on, this table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God. Oh, I wanted to activate my finisher. Well, maybe it's a good thing I didn't, because he would have reversed it. Uh-uh. I don't think so. You aren't getting that bullshit again. I'm done. I am done with your dumbass pedigree, and you getting it every time. No. Might as well try again. He likes to keep no selling it. Oh, 
Enough with the damn reversals. Ref, get out of the way. I would feel better with a two lead. Nope. <laughs> call me call me a bitch all you want. You are not get winning like that, Triple H. I will run away these last six minutes if I have to. Trust me. I got no problem. <laughs> oh, that would have been a give up. Uh nope. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go ahead, pedigree me on the outside. This is how we're going to do the rest of the match. Hope you're ready. That's how we're going to win it. Oh, damn it. Got it. There we go. Oh, we missed completely. <laughs> well, we're pretty safe now. I'm not too worried. Oh, he's mad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh yeah, we're safe. And we missed. He's mad. You know he's angry. You can't win now. I went for the pedigree. Oh, it's going to be so nice to finally win this. Yes.
please let me pin him. One, two. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Now he finally he look like he's reversed nothing for a while. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My character's never gonna be able to have kids. He reversed me. Oh, he reversed the pedigree. And we win. And Storm is your new World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, this was a lot of rage this episode. He's like, I'll be back. And Day of Reckoning too. From rookie to champion. A journey for this young superstar. Oh. I'm proud of you, son. That was nice of Batista. Hopefully he doesn't clothesline us or something. Oh no, he's actually just here to celebrate with us. Well, that's awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for being a guest on the Storm. If you enjoyed Day of Reckoning here, please let me know. And, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Our next video? Next episode? Next video? One of the two. <laughs> see you guys next time.